Hey, Miles Beckler here again. And in the last video, we covered my kind of my overall entrepreneurial journey that started when I went for kind of a get rich quick scheme when I was a young child, all the way up to finding this business here. And that path was kind of tattered with um, lots of ups and downs, lots of trial and error. Uh, trial and error has been one of my greatest teachers. So I'm thankful for all of that. Uh, but it wasn't until we got to this current business model that we're still actively working that things really started to take off. And even within this business model, there were a lot of trial and error that we experienced to get to this point where we're at today where we've got a really good growth and we've got really consistent growth, very predictable growth. Um, so what we're going to cover in this video today is this business model and the overview of how we're doing what we're doing, how we got to the point we're at to create this kind of growth. So back in 2009, we registered the domain that we're using for this. Uh, my wife had learned kind of a, a skill, a technique, and skill building is definitely one of the, the positive tricks we've learned. And she learned a skill on how to make a specific type of meditations. And once we learned that, we, we were really broke at the time. We were just fresh out of college and we knew that what her skill she had built was a marketable skill. We didn't exactly know how to market it. I chose the skill of learning how to work with WordPress. And beyond that, it kind of like how to optimize uh, for search engines and for conversions are the two kind of add-ons that I've done later in life after that. But it really began with taking this new skill of how to create a specific type of meditation that an audience wanted uh, and then we started to build out a WordPress website. And as I said, we were both fresh out of college. I ended up college with almost $50,000 in debt. I was about 40, literally $49,000 plus in debt after college. And I had uh, like a couple of different part-time jobs I was piecing together to try to cover my lifestyle. So we worked really hard on this business, trying to build it up. Our first marketing and kind of adventure was in Twitter. We were very aggressive on Twitter marketing, following people who were in our niche. Uh, replying to mentions and just generally putting out really good content through Twitter that also linked people back to our WordPress site. Now I was very kind of pro content marketing in the early days and I'm still pro content marketing, don't get me wrong, but I'll explain more about that soon. Uh, but in the old days we didn't have any money for paid marketing. So content marketing was kind of like our choice. So Melanie went really aggressive into the post today and writing out nice long posts and using Google's keyword tool, which is now called Google's Keyword Planner, and making sure that the topics she was writing on were specifically related to questions and keyword phrases that our target market was searching for. That way, when someone sends a relevant search, our website has a high probability of coming up as a result for that search. So for about the first two to three years, we were, it was all organic marketing. It was all, some people call it like free traffic, uh, but it's definitely not free traffic because it takes a lot of time to do. And at that point in our lives, we had nothing but time. Um, so 2009 is when we started the site. As of this recording, it's August of 2016. So we've had the site going for approximately seven years and it wasn't until 2013, excuse me. Uh, it wasn't until 2013 until we, really started to move away from that um, kind of organic marketing and move into the paid marketing side of the world. And that's really when the business leveled up uh, for the first time. So just one step before that, before I get into how that worked, um, what we've been doing with all of our marketing we put out, we drive visitors back to our website through our content. And on our website, there's the opportunity for them to obtain something free that is of value to them. It's actually something we started selling for $17, uh, but we decided to take one of them and offer them for free. And it's very simple. If you would like this kind of a meditation that will help you with this kind of a problem in your life, simply enter your email address here and we will send it to you via email. So that's how we began the list building process. In the last video, I explained how not building a list in my first affiliate adventure was definitely the biggest mistake I've ever made. And this was our answer. It was a compelling free offer in exchange for their email. Once they opted in, they went through a series of, I believe seven to 10 emails. Now it's upwards of 30 automated emails that go out every day. Um, and then they move on to a broadcast list where we broadcast them. Uh, we send a unique new email probably three to five times per week. So the early days, how do we start? We had no money, so we just started 
publishing content, content that we knew that our target market would enjoy based on data from Google about what they're searching for. So when they're searching for questions they have, how do I meditate? What is meditation? Can I meditate like this? We would produce answers in our content. They would find our content, they would read our content, and then they would, a uh, percentage of them, it's between two and 3% right now, would opt into our email list from our organic traffic and they would become an email subscriber and that's who we send out product launches to and that's who we offer specials to, et cetera. So in 2013, um, I connected with a guy named Mike Dillard and Mike Dillard had put out a coaching program. It's not going on anymore. It was Live Free and Prosper and it was all about kind of closing the feedback loop, tightening up the feedback loop. So the time it took for someone to find our content, to join our list and actually become a customer was condensed down to minutes, whereas before it was hours if not days because we wouldn't offer them something to buy until about day three on the email list. Um, his philosophy is that in order to build a real business, you need a kind of a predictable strategy to generate leads and to generate revenue that you can scale at will and at your choosing. And if you really don't have that, you're kind of building a hobby, a hobby that generates cash flow, which is great. But if you're wanting to build a real business, you can build your life on it. Everything needs to be predictable from the lead cost, from the cost per customer and how much you make per customer. That must be predictable, measurable. So you know that you're creating profit versus spinning your wheels and digging your hole deeper. So that's when we really started our first sales funnel. And these videos are gonna talk a lot more about sales funnels. And that the first sales funnel was very simple. It was an opt-in page that they saw first. Immediately after the opt-in page, they got an offer to purchase one of our best-selling products at a significant discount. And after that, we sent them the thing that they opted in for, which again, it was the exact same free meditation. So what had happened is now I'm able to pay for advertising, I was able to pay 20, 30, 40, 50 cents per click. These clicks come and look at the offer that says, hey, I know you're interested in these kinds of meditations. Would you like one of our meditations for free? About 40 to 50% of people said, yes, I would like that for free, and they would enter their email address. At that point, they're taken to a new page that says, great, we've received your email request, and now I just want you to know that you have a special offer one time to get three of our best-selling products, usually cost $67, you can get it right now for $17. And on that, about a percent to a percent and a half of the people who reach that page would purchase. And that page takes someone about 10 to 20 minutes to consume. And by consume, I mean get to the buy now button and make a decision. So what I was able to do is go from ordering a click on Facebook pay-per-click, and within about 20 minutes, I would be able to either make $17 from that click or not, and if not, but they still subscribed, then they go into our follow-up sequence, at which point they're able to see other offers that we have, see other products that we have, as well as receive other free and kind of value-based emails that we send so we can build the relationship with them. Because when someone doesn't purchase, it's only because they don't feel like they know you, they don't feel like they trust you. So that's where the email follow-up sequence comes in place. It helps build that trust so people are more willing to purchase in the future when a new product comes out. So that's really been the biggest breakthrough was to create our first sales funnel that goes from an opt-in to a one-time offer and then ultimately onto our email list. Um, we've done one other level up, I would have to say, also based on Mike Dillard's uh, content and his ideas, and that was to add a membership program in the process. And our membership program allows someone to get a $1 trial for the first week and then it's $37 per month and it runs for an undefined amount of time. So we've been running the membership program for four years and we have no, um, no end in sight, if you will. We plan to keep the $37 per month going for years and years and years at this point until or unless something changes. And after they buy the $1 trial, they actually get an offer to purchase the entire year at one time for $197. Now at $37 per month, a year would cost $444. So to offer them the ability to obtain a year for $197 is really giving them like $230 or $240 in a discount at that one time. They never see that offer again. It is a time sensitive offer and that does actually help us create even more value 
shortly after the click. And by value, I actually mean it helps us create more revenue shortly after the click. So someone clicks through, they see our sales presentation, they're interested in the $1 trial, and then they decide that they wanna join the $1 trial, we give them a killer deal on purchasing a whole year at once, about 25 to 35% of people take us up on that offer, depending on what kind of traffic they are. And that allows us to generate even more revenue from our ad spend more quickly, which we in turn loop right back into our ad spend. So it allows us to grow our advertising budget very quickly and the process of going from paying for a click, 20, 30, 50 cents per click, to ultimately achieving a $198 sale, the $197 plus the $1 trial, that time frame can be about 35 to 40 minutes. So within 40 minutes, a percentage of people who see our ads actually become customers at the $200 roughly price point, allowing me to spend another $200 in ads to generate more customers. And what this does is just create a positive upward spiral of leads and customers. And the byproduct of this is a very large list of people who were interested who didn't purchase or people who joined at the $37 per month mark and they're staying on month after month after month. And all the meanwhile, the advertising is covered by these people who take us up on an amazing deal to get an annual membership uh, in one kind of one fell swoop. It's a very quick offer. They haven't met us. They don't really know us that well yet, but they're getting a really good discount. We do offer a 30 day money back guarantee on everything we do. We're very clear about that in the sales message. So there's really no risk for people. And we're really confident in what we offer. We love our product line. Our customers love our product lines and the kind of reviews we get are just fantastic. So since we're so in love with what we do, we know it helps people. We get amazing feedback. It's a really fun marketing challenge because all I'm trying to do is help people who want what we have and are going to love what we have connect with what they want, which is what we offer. And when that works right, we get very happy customers who like to share, share us on Facebook. They like to email their friends about us. They like to refer people to us. And it's, it's a really special kind of positive situation. And that's what we, that's what we, you and I, are going to help you create for yourself is a very positive business model that will be able to create cash flow quickly. It'll be able to create long-term residual cash flow based on your actions. And it's gonna be something that's gonna be measurable. You're gonna be able to really track like how much energy, time, money am I putting in right now? And how much ROI am I getting from that? And you can test different channels of marketing against each other, for example. When I had this funnel first built, I tested Facebook pay-per-click traffic. I tested it directly against Google pay-per-click traffic, and I found that my cost per customer was significantly lower on Facebook, so I maintained and stayed focused on Facebook marketing. Um, I've since tested it against Pinterest pay-per-click marketing, which is a very new model. And again, Facebook was a less expensive cost per customer, so I've stuck with Facebook right now, but I'm always testing new advertising media. I'm always testing new ways to bring people in and doing retargeting and tracking it. And that's what you're going to learn how to do. So you can know for a fact, I am able to get a customer for $14 and I make $17 per customer, which means I'm net up $3 every time someone buys and I'm getting 40 opt-ins for every new customer I get. And when you get to a mathematical situation like that, you have a very reliable and predictable income stream. And the more money you put at it, the more $3 bills you'll make because you pay 14, you earn 17, and you get 40 new customers on your, or excuse me, 40 new leads on your email list. And when you've reached that kind of a, a measurable um, system that will spit out leads and customers in a very, very consistent, reliable mechanism, reliable way, you really just kind of put more and more money towards ads. You grow your list. Your list continues to build the relationship with customers and brings more customers into your funnel while you're bringing more people into your funnel through the ads. And it really creates an upward spiral in business. So that's really our business model right now. We're still running both of these funnels simultaneously. I bring people into that original funnel I told you about that is um, an opt-in to a one-time offer. I also bring people in directly to our membership. People who go in through the one-time offer and purchase, they learn about our membership and essentially the leads learn about all of the different products we offer over a specific period of time 
while we still give them great value in um, free emails, free content, so they can kind of know, like, and trust us more, which increases their likelihood to purchase in the future. So this is what we're gonna help you build. This is the goal of this entire channel and what's coming out. This video was a little long, but I really wanted to show you the evolution of what we've done. Keep in mind, we did this over the course of seven years. If I were to start again, I would eliminate the first four years of what we did because that is what I consider the slow way. And by putting a little bit of money in advertising, even as little as $10 a day, um, I love the $30 a day mark because you get really good data from that kind of volume. Uh, you're able to speed up the process of creating your business online significantly. And that's what I want to help you with is help you get a business going that you can rely on for cash flow for your lifestyle so you can live the lifestyle you choose. And I want to help you get there as quickly as we can. Um, I'm going to keep going with these videos. We're done with this one for the day. So thank you very much for watching. If you have a question about anything that you heard, feel free to leave me a comment below. I'm happy to ask or answer any questions you may have. Uh, I might even feature your question in a future video if it's a question that's relevant to everyone. And if you want to see how this all unfolds and you want to learn all of the steps that we took to build this business, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because that's where I'm going. I'm on a, I'm on a personal 90 day challenge with these, um, with these videos. So I'm going to be cranking out a video a day and I'm going to lay it all out on the table. I have no plans to hold anything back right now. So uh, thank you again for joining me. I hope this has helped inspire you a little bit. And again, go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a comment below or a question below and I'll get back and answer with you. So thanks for your time. Talk to you soon.